How are you? Good. How you doing? Good to see you. Thank you. Man, comb your hair. <laughs> Not since my high school photo. Not since your, that was the last time, actually. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, just today, thinking about all the different movies you've done, and I, I don't mean this, I don't mean this in any way to be derogatory or anything. It's just that you you see your movies and they're so dark, and they have such a sort of twisted reality that I think, as a as a child, this guy must have been an outcast. Is that fair? Is that well? Uh, you know, you don't set out to be an outcast. Somehow, society has a way of putting you in that, but. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I like to, yeah, I, 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 I would do things in my neighborhood like uh, uh, pretend that, uh, you could do it with younger kids, you know, because you, they're more gullible. Um, like uh, pretend that there was quicksand in the, uh, in the backyard. Or, or one time I, I convinced this other kid that they'd, his parents had put too much acid in the pool. Mm -hmm. And I threw some clothes in the pool and said his brother had disintegrated. <laughs> and he ran screaming to his mother. So what I, a fun guy to have around the neighborhood. <laughs> wow, so sort of sort of this Charles Adams kid running around. Yeah. What's, uh, I mean, as an adult, you, you, you've been very successful. You work with these big studio executives all the time who are dealing with lots of money. How do they react to you? I mean, what's, what's, the, what's the weirdest reaction you've ever gotten from a studio executive? Well, I mean, I've been lucky because I get to keep making films, so that's, that's good. But um, I remember once... Uh, the reaction when I uh, said uh, that I wanted Sammy Davis Jr. to play Beetlejuice. They didn't, it's like when you, you ever show a cat something weird where it's just like, or a deer caught in the headlights. That's right, right. sort of what it was they like. They just stare at you for yeah, a while? Yeah, but they, they. It'd have been a, actually, I can, I can sort of see that. Yeah, I think you would have been a cool Beetlejuice. Yeah, it would have been great. <laughs> uh, at what point did you realize, I mean, you're, you're doing these different films. At what point did you realize, I've arrived, I am successful, I've made my mark? What, was, there a, was there a defining moment where you realized? Well, I, one thing, kind of the weird things, like, like uh, when they make porno movies based on your films. <laughs> um, <laughs> like what? Which Ed, films? Edward, Edward Penis Hands. <laughs> that was what... That was when somebody gave me that tape, and I thought, wow, this is amazing. And there was like a room, there was like 20 people in the room, and by the end of the movie, there was me and one other person <laughs> left. Well, what was it like? What is Edward Penis well, Hands like? Well, I thought like? it was I mean, going to be, I was excited that there would be like five penises on the, but it was only one on each. And see, then, see, you can't help but improve a movie. That's, you're looking at Edward Penis Hands like, no, 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 we got to do this right. And they, and they squirted, too. It was All weird. right. <laughs> And then they did a sequel. And then they did a sequel, which was really weird, called Edward Penis Hands 2. And on the cover of the video, he was dressed in a golfing outfit and had <laughs> golf mitts on his hands. Why? So I, I have no idea. I, I never <laughs> saw that. Have you talked to the person? I did. I did. I, oh, you met. I, you I met. I think I met the guy once. The director, yeah. or actually director. Edward Penis Hands. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. good. <laughs> no. uh, I'm going to change subjects quickly. Uh, <laughs> The, um, you have had, uh, you've had some difficulty with the film rating board. Oh, I, I always do. I the I MPAA, I guess, has given you uh, kind of a hard time. And if you want to vent about this, you should, you should well, vent here. I mean, here. I just have, I, you know, I've had trouble with him ever since. I mean, from the beginning uh, of film, you know, I used to watch monster movies when I was a kid, you know, and that's kind of why I wanted to make Sleepy Hollow is, is that it was like kind of a film that you could eat, see on TV on a Saturday afternoon. So, you know, they get all crazy about it. And I think, in fact, the day that they were um, screening this film, they were b burning Elvis records at the same time. Right. You know, they're just like so... Uh, uh, Determined to... I mean, what the problem is that they just think that... You sort of, you think that kids should be able to see Yeah, I mean, something that's safe, like, like, like something that's done in the realm of a fantasy or a fairy tale, something like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, those films were, like, cathartic for me. They weren't, like, damaging and, and make me, you know, want to take off my own head and ride a horse around, you know? Or Pumpkinhead. <laughs> we want to talk to you about the movie Pumpkinhead, but it, we, Andy and I are going to put all our money into this. This will be a $22,000 film. Uh, well, you know, we actually, this is interesting because we wanted to show a clip from Sleepy Hollow, and uh, we wanted to show a, an exciting clip uh, of, uh, of the Headless Horseman riding around with his sword, decapitating, and the, uh, the MPAA said, no you, exciting clips. you cannot show a clip of the Headless Horseman committing any act of violence. And I thought, we thought that was kind of strange, and we didn't want to let you down, so we made our own clip okay. for Sleepy Hollow, and we spared no expense. And let's, wow. let's roll this. I hope you enjoy. in the 
graveyard. Huh? Huh? I, I pity the fool. So. <laughs> He should. Yeah, well, we had to cut that scene out because that gave it an X. <laughs> that was an X, that one. <laughs> so Sleepy Hollow stars Mr. T. <laughs> Check for it soon. Uh, but uh, but actually, uh, I saw uh, I saw Sleepy Hollow as I mentioned. I saw it uh, two nights ago. That was great. Oh, I really you. liked yeah, it a lot. I had fun make, we had fun making it. Yeah. yeah. People should check that out. Sleepy Hollow opens tomorrow. And uh, Tim, it was great to, to meet you. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. Thanks, thanks so much for coming back. Best of luck with the movie. Tim Burton, everybody. We'll be right back with Low Straight Jackets. Stick around.